Recently, a good many users have complained that their Apple Watches have become unresponsive to the touch after the WatchOS 11 update. If you have also run into the same problem, I have got you covered with some workable tips. That said, let's get started. First off, I would recommend you to have reset your Apple Watch as it is an exceptionally helpful solution in fixing annoying WatchOS related problems. To do so, you have to hold down the digital crown and the side button at once for a few seconds until you see the Apple logo on the screen. And once your Apple Watch has rebooted, check out if the problem is gone. If it has, then you are good to go. If your Apple Watch has started to respond to the touch, I would suggest you to force quit all apps. If there are too many open and running apps in the background, it could be causing the problem. To do so, you have to double press the digital crown to bring up the app switcher on your Apple Watch. After that, you have to swipe left on the app card and then hit the red X button. Now you have to repeat the same quick steps to get rid of all the apps. Next up, I would suggest you to update all apps on your Apple Watch. If your Apple Watch is running too many outdated apps, it could be the main reason why the touch screen is not working or has become unresponsive to the touch. Therefore, try updating all apps on your WatchOS device. To get it done, open the App Store app on your Apple Watch. Then you have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and then tap on the account option. Then you have to tap on the update button. And finally, you can update all apps at once or update one app at a time. And finally, I would recommend you to erase your Apple Watch and repair it with your iPhone. Should your Apple Watch touchscreen continue to be unresponsive, it's time to go for the nuclear solution. And with it, I mean wiping out the entire Apple Watch and then reconnecting it with the iPhone. To do so, you have to open the watch app on your iPhone, then tap on general. After that, you have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and tap on Reset. Then tap on Erase Apple Watch Content and Settings and confirm the action. And once you have successfully wiped out your Apple Watch, you have to follow the usual process to reconnect your Apple Watch with your iPhone. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you have gotten the better of the problem and the touch screen of your Apple Watch has started to respond as usual. If you found this video helpful, do like, consider it, and I'll see you in the next video with most of handy Apple Watch tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a good time. Bye bye.